Hello everybody and welcome back to more time City of the Damned. As promised, I made a quick excursion to our wolf pack to show also quickly the unit that has been implemented um, last patch here as well. And we are going to deal with the wolf priest of Ulrich. This is the wolf priest and he is a uh, well, a mix out of melee and a uh, caster, which, um, well, gives you, of course, quite some options to play with him. There are various skills you can look on. You can bring him into a support unit or really use it as him as well as a damage dealer. I think, though, I need to play it first with one or two guys, maybe even to find out what is the best way to deal with him. Looking at the skills, these of course are just the regular ones that everybody has. So we're just going to look at the special skills that they are having. We have the guard stands. Of course, I do not know now if these are um, your mercenary skills. Can't tell you because I haven't played them that much. Just a little bit for fun. So looking at them, it's guard stands, which is increasing your armor absorption. The righteous, fr righteous fury. Well, difficult for me to say. What does do? A melee attack that deals regular damage but with a 25% chance to hit. If hit the target gets a reduction of maximum offense and strategy points by 1 for 1 turn and it would increase to 2 if you master it. The Alpha Howl increase the initiative of allies around you and the range of your charge and ambush. Crush the weak. If hit the enemy gets a debuff that reduce the critical resistance and there you go if you use these kind of skills it's getting very strong uh, as a support unit and we have the wild swipe which is going in an 180 degree arc in front of you so that's pretty nice if you engage with various enemies and it does a regular damage with a 25 percent chance to hit malus or malus Malus with a downside of 25% there. And um, with Mass Rate, you only get a decrease in the hit chance of 10%. For the passive skills, he starts with the Heart of the Wolf, which is um, increasing the chance of passing all these psychological tests by 25%. And we have the Divine Aegis, range resistance increase, Ulrich's Chosen which increases the critical hit damage by 5 or 10% later on, which is pretty important if you are going for the casting version of the Priest. Ulrich's Fury, which is increasing the spell damage after you've done melee damage by quite a lot though, 15% or 30% later on even. The Absolute Faith, increasing even further the psychological tests. And the Northern Tenacity, which is increasing critical resistance after you have taken melee damage. Let's have a quick look at the spells. We are starting automatically with Ulrich's Gift, which is increasing the melee hit chance and damage by 10% on one of your allies. And as you can also read, it grants immunity to all alone and you cannot flee, it's engaged, and so on. The Snow King's Decree, I think it's called. When performing a melee or range attack, it flicks 10 to 15 damage to self. You cast that on an enemy. So if they are attacking, they are basically hurting themselves. That can go up to 20 to 30 damage. And if you consider that you can get the additional damage by, in total, I think 45% out of that, you can go up to quite a lot, which the enemy does to themselves by just trying to attack you. The Winter's Chill is um, <clears throat> against a self or single ally, and those enemies that are trying to attack you. Well, now I have to read quickly again. Enemies engaged with the target receive debuff that reduce melee hit chance and melee damage by 10%. So you are just getting, well, better in your defense with that. The Frostbite deals 12 to 70 damage and is reducing the strategy points. Howl of the Wolf. It goes on yourself and the allies and radius around you. Reduce the cost of charging by 1 OP. And what else? Increase the melee hit chance and critical hit chance by 
while Peck grants you immunity to fear and provokes the enemy though at the same time to get to be feared by you. That's actually a pretty nice thing. If you engage with plenty of enemies and you get that one out, that will give you quite a survivability. Blessing of Ulrich. Increase the melee critical hit chance by 5%, critical damage by 15%, and it goes on himself and the allies around him with a 5 meter radius. And of course, all of that gets increased if you master it after. And the Ice Storm, 5 meter radius, it deals 8 to 12 damage and is reducing the maximum and the current OP of the enemy. And of course, also the damage output and the range gets increased by that later on. So, this is the Priest of Ulrich. The customization options I'm, as I said already, so often not really happy with. There's really not much he can do. Even the cloak that he's wearing, he can not really adjust the style. He can just choose for a different color for the lower part, not even the wolf, that he can have a dark wolf or something like that. To me, as always with the customization here, it looks nice. But a little bit disappointing. The only nice thing is when you're going and equipping him with a helmet, he gets a special helmet in the shape of a wolf head. Or at least it reminds you a little bit of it. So, so much for that. And now we are heading back for our war band of the cult of the possessed and see what we can do over there. Well, I'm not going to click around now. I'll just see you in a bit in the next part and when the battle is about to start. And here we are with the Harping House of Agony. Here you have the overview of what you have achieved already so far. Or at least a small overview of that. And here is our warband. We have two injuries, unfortunately, on our Doom Weaver, which I would like to have around, because I really still like this guy so far. And last time I promised to quickly send out the shipment request to our Shadow Lord. It's 372. Ah, a little bit of clicking and there we go. Send the shipment request. We still have quite a lot and I think I'm going to send it right away as well for us to get a little bit closer with the um, nah, reputation to where we want to be and also to get a little bit of more money, which we might just invest in training a little bit more of our guys. So now we are clicking around here quickly, just sending it off, and I'm going to skip ahead now until we have the money, as well as until the next campaign mission is showing up. Which new hired swords are available? No, we have new hired swords, but I'm going to skip ahead, as I said. Take a quick look if there are any Dark Souls that are usable for us. It does look like it. No, this one I don't even need to look further. He has one arm missing already. Um, i just curious how long that is going to take. Probably I should have used the time to heal up. Um, New hired swords are available. Not to heal up, but to train our guys but now we have the money so i'll be back again in a second i will start training our guys and i will let you know what is happening as soon as possible then so again see you in a bit so and we are quickly back to show you a little bit of what is happening before i skip ahead again and show you oh well basically just wait for the campaign mission and it actually i teach something that I might have done already or should have done maybe quite some time ago. Knowledge more time to Kano so he can move further. Why I think that's important? Because if there's something like Crush the Will or he's actually needed at both sides of the map, he should be able to get around rather quick. Skeletor, nothing. Brand, swift counter, for the same reason as Miss Pancake. If he gets attack and counter, he should get another OP and with that, should be able to counter more often. Let's go to Sliad. He finally, finally learns the Crippling Shot Mastering to reduce 2 OP from the enemy. Nothing here. Redley has no skill points because he just got hired and learned already everything. Finally, armor proficient on Mr. Muffin already long overdue. 
Candyman. He actually should learn the armor proficiency as well. Well, there we go. Same on Ogion, so he finally gets to move a little bit more around. I have nothing on him so far. Halva neither, Rural nuts. McNuggets, same over here, just for movement. Miss Pancake, getting the deep wound mastery to increase the critical damage to even 20%. Alak, nothing so far. Probably just going to be this one though, I decided. Mastering the void to increase his dodging to a phenomenal 145%. If he really manages to do that afterwards, he also should master the sidestep. And that was it. And quickly going ahead with teaching our guys and waiting for the mission request, which is right here. That's perfect. I just have to a wait until all of our guys are healed. I'm skipping ahead with that because it's normally the same or very similar to what our friend is telling us later on in the campaign description. Market stock has been replenished. The market stocks have been replenished. We are checking on that as well. Actually, nothing that is of interest to me. No formula, no purple stuff, which is the only thing that I'm looking for at the moment. Kano is back. Who is still missing? Let's take a quick look. I want Miss Pancake for sure around. Alak is not that important. This pancake needs one more round though as well. New and sword. here we go, new hired swords. I'm not going to check on that right now. We are going straight for the mission. That took already quite some time. And it's just on a normal level. So let's see, whom are we taking along? We are not taking Brand. Well, we probably take Brand along. Sliat is going to stay at home. And Rand over here. And let's see. Candyman Ingbert here. We have Huel. Huel is probably replacing Halva for now. Yeah, I'll do it like that. And we are running with a small amount of Dark Souls. And you've seen the regular setup on top, including Radley, though, who is replacing Sliad in order to see how his casting works out for us. And let's see what Merga wants from us this round. My magic has revealed to me the beast that escaped from Count Steinhardt's menagerie. It is a manticore, a fantastically rare monster seldom seen in the Empire. To capture such a creature and bind it with my sorcery would give me a potent weapon to loose against those who would oppose the Shadow Lord. The Manticore has made a lair for itself in the old market square. The pool I used to scry it revealed the beast feeding on a hapless band of mercenaries. But there was more, something that lends an even greater immediacy to tracking the monster down. Perhaps drawn by the corpses of the Manticore's kills and the misery of its victims, several demons of Nurgle, foul plague bearers, are lingering around the plaza. They are protected by an arcane altar standing near the fountain. The tokens of Nurgle which I have prepared must be brought to the altar. Only when their energies have been transferred into Griffinbrand can the spirit of the Allurus be completely subdued. Be wary. You may feel fatigued carrying such potent talismans. It is no small feat to carry the Grandfather's sigil. As for the manticore, I have an enchanted collar that will serve to enslave it. Subdue the beast and put the collar around its neck. Then the magic will reduce it to subservience. The brute has been consuming wordstone, spitting up the indigestible shards all around its lair. The shards have reacted oddly to the acids in its stomach, lending them a corrosive property. Collect these for me to study further. It may be that they can be of some service to us. The risks are great, but so too is the prospect of reward. That actually sounds like there's a lot to do in this mission, and I'm very curious and how she wants us to do that. Started. Something similar we had to do with the... There's the Mantico already. We had to do with the Skaven when we had to kill the Mantico while gathering all kind of stuff around. So keep me aga alive, render the Manticore unconscious, retrieve tainted griffin bread from your cart, gather Nurgle tokens from your cart, 
Locate. Now that's alter. Locate corrosive word stones. Let's check on the Manticore. Uh, I want to get in a position where I could possibly charge with Miss Pancake. A little bit of health. A little bit is... Well, a little bit of a lie. That's a lot. But we have an acceptable hit chance normally against him. Especially with Miss Pancake. My biggest question though is... What are all these points around here? This pancake will fall back and I first have to check with our other guys here what these things are doing. A wood plank we need to put here? No idea. I have to play this one probably a little bit more defensively until I really figure out what is my goal here. I will take all the stuff with Merga, especially the Griffin brand. Well, let's take four tokens with her. Completed. Objectives updated. Well, she also has no wooden plank, though. Ah, it seems like there's stuff laying around right New over here. Objectives added. Well, of course she can't quit now. Of course, that's logical. But she's also going to delay right here, and Kana will have a look at it. Let's see what it is. No, oh, come on. Planks. Not really sure why I need these. Let's find out. Just place them. Well, that was to be expected. But why? what do I need it for? Probably to get across to the Manticore. Well, yeah, makes makes sense. Make it makes totally sense that I can walk across, you know. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side, we are putting that one on this pancake, but we are not going to do anything with the rest. We are going to stay right here. I wonder if the manicor is going to stay inside there, or if he's going to run around a little bit trying to find us. One demon is over here, one is over there. It was said that I need to first locate the altar and drop the tokens somewhere around it. At the moment, I have to admit, it's not very clear to me. Delay again. I first want to see what the Manticore is going to do. Maybe I have to charge in on him right away. Well, he's dropping in on me. Doing quite some damage with that. Ha! Well, that readily. Sure, counter attack, why not? Why not because you're blind? Now I wished I would have taken Sleer along, because he could heal our guys up constantly. Overpowering him, I highly doubt that he can be stunned. Well, I'll check it out anyhow. Actually, he can. I did take damage? Well, he took us for damage, I just didn't see it. This pancake is actually doing quite a good work on him. You have to look at the right corner in the lock to actually see what's happening there. And this, uh, Miss Pancake, Merga will continue right away with the damage cards on him. Yeah, it really doesn't show. Why well, he has very high magic resistance, that might be the reason, because we just didn't get through. This time we do get through. And let's see what else can we do. 
Nope, let's try it twice this. I know he has a very high resistance, 50-50 chance to hit him. What else can we do at the moment with her? And we resisted all of the, all of the damage attacks. Delay, is that really worth it? They can take down the Manticore right in the beginning. I think that would be a huge help to us. And it's nowhere mentioned that he needs to have some kind of effect on him. Disengage. Get into that building so he should not be able to get to him. There we go. Damage with casts. That I don't like, that he gets open wounds always on himself. Brand, get in there as well. Try to pass the test, please. Okay. Reducing our hit chance with that. Doesn't matter, we hit anyhow. Does it reduce the hit chance or does it just reduce our OP? At the moment it looks like it's reducing OPs. There we go, it's reducing our OP and not our hit chance. The hit chance is reduced by 35% because of the landing dust from his side. Somehow I doubt that I can parry this guy when our dodging was at 0%. Okay, on. even though only with a 35% hit chance, does two times the damage against this guy. Well, because he's stunned. Well, that makes sense. So, piling everybody on to attack him. I have no idea how far I am with killing him. Let's see. Oh well, we took already 400 away. We need more damage. We should be down by roughly 25% of its health now. Ingebert, even though it's probably going to be your death, get in here too. I'm fully aware of the fact that he could have had two attacks if I would have equipped him with two one-handed weapon uh, with one one-handed weapon and shield. But we chose for something else, and I could overpower him again to stun him another time. I think I'm going to do that. I know it will decrease the damage I inflict on him. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I stunned him actually. I don't think that was possible actually. To be honest. Now then, that would have been a stupid action of mine. Let's see. I will try the Chains of Chaos on him again. No, I don't need to. He should still have it. Does he? Arch target mark misfortune and burning blood. So, no. Then I have to get that out. And he's resisting. I will continue trying that one, with Merga at least. And trying is the right word, as so often. There we go, theoretically it should go out now. And Kanoa. Support for Miss Pancake. And demanding from Miss Pancake to continue her attacks. Working pretty nice, another 94 damage dealt. Introspection. 
And another round of attacking. And now we see what the Mantico is doing, if he's running away, or if he's just staying here with me and attacks further. I would actually think I actually think I would like him to stay. Nope, he does not. And I have no idea where he is now. <laughs> we need to find out if he's healing when he's flying away, but I'm pretty certain I'll see that in a bit. These planks, I don't actually think they're necessary in any sort, in any kind of way. Maybe to get inside the building at some point. Running around with Rual all by himself is not a good idea though. These demons will probably just smash him. And it seems like there are plenty of them. At the same time, it's all, all right for me, since it doesn't look like anybody's going to drop in or join after a while. It doesn't look like there's a different one enemy warband around. So I'm fine with that. Passing the terror test right away again, that's good. The open wound I don't like. I'm pretty certain I shouldn't step into these poisonous things. Our friend is nowhere to be seen. Also here, passing the terror test. Actually, that's quite lucky. Uh, Brent is going to take the remaining token of Nurgle. Objective completed. So we keep in mind, Brent and Merga have the token. I said that the shrine is in the middle of the map. Actually, I think I need to place these planks over the. Part where the word stone is inside the corrosive acid. So we can collect the word stone that is lying inside there where Merga asked us to collect them. Well, it sounds logical to me. I hope you agree. And you can actually see that our guy is starting to get a little bit around and are not stuck in one place the whole time. Our Dark Souls have movement. Well, except of Mr. Mother. He's still a little bit slow. Yeah, I should have done that already quite some time ago. That helps us really a lot to move a little bit. Now our guys are all at one spot here. A new round has started. And we are back already. Sorry for that little interruption. Sometimes things are just out of your control. I wonder why I could get up there. And I wonder where I can find more planks now. So Miss Pancake, you can dodge once over here. The other ones have to catch up anyhow a little bit. Merga, you are going to search for planks. A lot of movement, that's good for us. Well, there's a lot of stuff all over the place. It's still no very clear idea of what I have to do. There is a bunch of planks around here. Now she can't carry anything, but she found them for us at least. Um, who else could we get? Well, Kano can run around a lot. So you are going to stay close to Miss Pancake then. That means for us, get over here, get in that corner, weapons of destruction on Miss Pancake. I'm just hoping that the 
little fella Mantico is not dropping in on Kano. Well, I can just get inside the building. That should prevent him from doing so. At least in my thinking. Well, he is going to support Kano. What's being hopefully safe under here? Let's see what the Manticore decides to do. Dropping in somewhere, right next to all of our guys. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that a little, not even a little bit. But he didn't regain his health. And he took a lot during this first attack of his, or basically our first attack on him. Well, now also Nurgle's fellas are coming in. Candyman has to deal with him for now by himself. Which doesn't look that good, I have to admit. I hope the other ones are still staying away. So, now for the fun part. Well, not really fun, this fighting this guy is not fun at all. Resisting our magic. I should get him first away from the other ones. I don't want him to affect or have the effect of the open wounds on all of the guys around him. Now he's resisting as well with 47 out of 48. He needs. Now we haven't mastered that one, so it should give us just one. That's not worth it, but no, we are not going to with the boon either. We are just going to stay here. Just stay here. That's always happening at these points where I really need the damage that our guys either are not hitting or the enemies are resisting everything that we have. At least there's a little bit of yeah, relying on Brands, who does around 100 damage, 150 damage. Manticore down to 1500. Oh yeah, he did well last time. Well, Miss Pancake didn't stun him, so I can understand why we are not hitting with the landing dust on all of our guys. So that is unfortunate that he is now here all by himself. The plate bearer though takes quite some damage. And we still have the sidestep. That should help us at least a little to survive long enough for other guys to jump in. Yeah, this landing dust of his is really a pain to us. It's reducing our attack, or yeah, by I think it was 35%. And Ingebert, I have to admit, is not in the safest position here. He's in the acidity, he's taking lots of damage. He might be the first victim of the Manticore. This pancake go for damage output. That's what we need, and we need a lot of it. Ah. A lot of it is not missing this pen.
could go with the Dark Gifts, but I have the feeling I should go for damage output, even though it's very high magic resistance from his side. Every little bit helps us here. Dark Gifts, I'm, I'm wondering if I should throw it out on our guys. Well, of course, should not that round anymore, anyhow. Well, she does 100 damage. With that, the Manticore should be quite beneath 1000 now. Get away a little bit from everything. Yeah, now even though Kano is now here, I want him to go back. You can get two over here. Weapons of Destruction on Miss Pancake. Two times order on Miss Pancake should give us another 160 to 200 damage. Maybe we've managed to get a crit out, because actually that would be the first this round for us. Well, 170 damage, that's perfect. And the rest just stay around and you, yeah, get away. I know you're scared of me. Once a world he can collect planks. It'll take a little bit longer. But at some point he'll manage as well. I can see already the Manticore dropping in on him. Are the other plate bearers coming in on us? Dodging fail. Dodging fail. Hmm. Does not look very good for the candy man. He should be able to support a little over there. And he's not here. So I gotta say I'm sorry, but the game just crashed. And now I gotta find my way around quick. But yeah, well, it seems like I just had to move Brent over there. Crashed. Luckily, well, not luckily, I, could, I would have preferred if the whole two rounds, or if the whole round would have restarted, because this guy would not have been stunned. But. That's not how it is, and actually that makes total sense to me, and I can live with it. Get around here and join the fight against the Plague Bearer. With a 17% hit chance, how many debuffs do we have? Oh, basically all of them. That's annoying. Very annoying, to be honest. At least it gives the guy another way... Oh, another guy, or another enemy, he can attack. Oh, I wish that the magic would have gone out. Unfortunately, at the same time, it removes the enemies that we, or our guys, that we can use against the Manticore. And Brand is quite a damage dealer, we have to admit. Candyman won't make it, I can see it already happening. He's going to get knocked out rather soon. He's taking lots and lots of damage just by standing around. 9% hit chance. Huh. Mr. Mom, just spread out a little bit. I think standing on one spot is not actually the smartest idea that you can have over here. For sure Ingbert is going to get somewhere inside the building. Where he can join the fight after the Manticore has landed. But for the time being, he has to stay a little bit hidden. Miss Pancake, I'm just going to delay you with. I want the Manticore to land and her to attack him. There's basically no way around. I need her on him to knock him out. Something similar would account for her, but that Plague Bearer needs to go down, even though it seems to me like. 
I have to first do something with this uh, altar, or yeah, with the altar of Nurgle before I lock, knock them out. Could have used that damage output of hers. Uh, yeah, we really needed it actually. Since our well, since our guys that are even trying to get close to him are getting knocked out most certainly. Not even knocked out, but they get so many debuffs on them with the landing dust and everything that's around that they cannot really attack properly. Cannot get inside here as well. Maybe the landing dust will not hit him here, even though it does not affect him because he will just order his pancake anyhow. I'd rather have him a little bit in the back now. With these guys coming in, I'm not very happy at all. You get planks. Curious how many of these wordstone that have been thrown up basically by the Manticore I will have to collect. Delay one more time and we'll see where the enemy is dropping in this time. There he is, hitting only Ogion with the damage, wondering who has been hit with the uh, dust though. 30 damage on Merga. Not the worst, and again, she's he's attacking Ingebert. This time he's resisting, though, the damage output, or the uh, poisoning for him. That's a start. Unfortunately, we got landing dust on Miss Pancake. 63% hit chance. She should at least make a one or two or three of them. Most, I would hope for three. Why is the damage output so low? Well, we did 120 damage. We are getting very close to getting this stupid Manticore down. And as well here, I, had, I think I said it before, I just hope that I don't need to do something and he gets revived instead of killed. <sighs> These are things that I don't need actually, and I was actually I saw it wrong. I was too close to failing with the casting. There we go, 62 damage already looks better than the 30 to 40 she did the whole time before. One time more ordering. And a miss. That's what I don't need, Miss Pancake. I don't need that. I need you to hit. I need you to hit hard. And that looks like the Candyman is going down. Oh no, he managed to dodge. And a failed hit. And Candyman is down. And a number four attack on Brand. Here I need to get magical support as well. Using Chains of Chaos, everything that I got. Yeah, you stunt yourself again as so often. Let's try to get damage out this time, which we succeed with. Oh, and no negative side here. Introspection to get our OP. We are at four, so we can go for one more Burning Blood again on the Plague Bearer. And with that damage out, Merga should be able to finish him off. And another open wounds. At some point he's going to kill himself with that. Let's see how I... Oh, we have 52% hit chance. That's much better than before. Anyhow, we roll a 100. That's not much better than before. Now oh, the dodge... I don't think I can actually parry him. I'll try anyhow. 
Oh, there was parry. Failed. Was meaning that we couldn't parry, therefore. And now, Ogion. Get in here. Everybody try to make a little bit of damage. He's at 468. That's not that much anymore. Normal enemies we would knock out like that in one round. Probably even easy. And Stuffin. One hit. It's a start. And a touch. And who's left? Oh, almost dead. Ingebert. And out of that poisoning there. And hide. I don't want him to not get knocked out. Miss Pancake failing again with the blood offering. She shouldn't do that. And another miss. This time it hit, 65 damage. Oh, we missed three times. That would have been another 180 damage. I got tried to kill him. He's resisting. 14% and a second time with 14% he's resisting. That means to us we need to hit now three times in order to kill him. Otherwise we're getting problems with Brand as well over there. Maybe the burning blood that was done by um what's his face? Our Doom Weaver would have killed him as well. And he's resisting a third time. Three times so far. That's a lot. Um Carnival time. I'm wondering what I should do. I think one attack for sure with Miss Pancake. The other one I'm considering is going with Chains of Chaos on this guy over there. Oh, no charging. No, no, no. We get through. With that, he has for sure less attacks against our friend. He's, of course, getting away now. I'm almost certain that with the next time he's landing, I, I might be able to knock him out. Well, get to the second part of planks over here. We need to collect seven of these corrosive wordstones. Oh, you don't get through there. We have to run all over the map to collect these, I think. Plague bearers are moving, at least one of them will attack us. Maybe he's dying because of the blood. Yes, that is good. That's very good for us, that saves Brand quite some damage. And, and that's our stuff, so we don't need to collect that. I'm going to stay at these planks here. We can collect them as well. And he actually can put them right over this poison so I can see if my theory with uh, collecting these is correct. Uh, yes, it is. So I see one, two, three, four of them already. I just need to find the planks to lay them down as well. Stay over here. No ambush, please, though. Friends, check on this. Let's look what's inside. The probably it's crap. Oh, it's crap, but I take it anyhow. A little bit of gold. I wonder that if there are actually sufficient planks around. 
I'm saying planks a lot because planks are very important over here. Oh, you just spread out as well. I wonder how wide the range is of the landing dust. I think if my Dark Souls can go a little bit further away from each other, then uh, well, that should be fine. The distance is quite huge between at least Ogion and Mr. Muffin. And Miss Pancake will get over there anyhow, so she's going to delay again until our friend is dropping in. Same counts for Merga and Skarnor. Well, well, who has two planks on him? We'll go and get up some close of words on. Again, delay as well. And, oh wait, you can already cast weapons of destruction, Miss Pancake. Oh, barely went through, but went through. And delay. Now the Manticore should be coming in. No, well, why is the Manticore getting so slow? Barely have movement points left. And as you know, I need these movement points to convert into our to convert them into OP. And these words Kano. And now Manticore dropping in. Oh, that looks like he's coming in right in front of us. And damage of Kano. Can't do much against that. Oh, it can counter attack. Well, Kano is not the master in counter attacking, obviously. Don't counter attack. Save your points. A lot of attacks from his side now. A lot of attacks. Oh, it's enough, isn't it? Yes, it is. Manticore and turn. Miss Pancake is coming in. Please hit finally with Blood Offering. That would help us big time. Especially if the following attacks are hitting as well, which they don't. At least not all of them. No, Manticore is almost dead. Merga would have a 50% hit chance if she's coming in somewhere around there. I can also do that with magic, and it works out. There we go. Manticore is on the ground, and we can focus on the other items. This guy is evil. Really not that easy. Well, to be honest, his damage or anything easily could have been covered with sneered around. But sneered is not around. Um yeah. And that probably would, would it be a mistake if I would, or if I will have to redeem this mission, which I hope I don't. Sliad will be in our team for sure. Now we can see quite some planks, no, some points over there that, that we need to place planks. And I still need to find this altar, which looks like it's Really exactly in the middle where one plate bearer is also around. One is coming around. Charging in on Kanor, who hopefully will dodge a little bit. Well, or he's missing, that's even better. Since we did the dodging, we can counter attack now, we won't get these attacks anymore. And we dodge. That's not something that Kanor is very good at normally. We can't see the plate bearer. 
There is something. I would like to check on that one. I don't know if the poisoning is killing us though. Put your car charge again, I can promise you that. <sighs> something is wrong with this guy. Shall I bring in Brent over here? The answer might be yes. 75% hit chance. Ah, come on. At least a second try is a success. And now, of course, we can move our other friends in as well. I'm curious where the other planks are. I was curious if I could just walk in there to get a little bit of damage and collect it. Anyhow, maybe I should try that. It will for sure go a little bit faster. And I think I can easily spare one or two of our guys with uh, losing a little bit of health. Great spoon. Hmm, I should take these along because I actually think I might be able to use them. Especially on guys like Ogians move a little bit faster. But for now you're falling back a little. Get out of this stupid point. I think it would be wise to stick all of our guys together, let them close to each other. Even though of course the stench of our enemies is not really beneficial for us there. Let's see if Miss Pancake can just run through there. Well, 15 damage, who cares. But it shows me as well that I can get in there and will be able to collect it without dying from it. You know? I should have done that as first, I know that. We are still affected by the landing dust, I think. Well, just this round and afterwards, our hit chance will increase dramatically, and the plague bears won't have much fun with Miss Pancake. So, planks are nice to have, but not a must have. I like that very much. Normally, I would assume if at a spot like that, there is something nice. Let's check it out. Well, that's normally. Obviously, we are not in a normal situation right here. Now let's take that plague bear out. For sure, we have good overview from here. Unfortunately, though, I still can't see anything that even looks remotely like a altar. Right here, I don't think I need to dodge. Kano took quite some damage, so he should stay back a little. Not charging forward and supporting like, like how we did until now. But supporting just like we used to it with all kind of cars on enemies and on friends. So, just like that. And then wait over here with... Uh, Normally I would say dodging. There we go. Well, since we have the planks, let's use them. That is, I'm not going to search for them now actively. Didn't he collect the first one as well? Why didn't he? Ah, sure. Ah, okay. I have two as our task manager over there. And we can get inside here. A little bit of gold. Take it anyhow. Okay, plague bearer incoming. Or not? No? That's fine. 
Oh, there he is. How many are there left? It seems like plenty. But as I said before, now Miss Pancake is ready for them. Where is that plate bearer that was close to Orion? Where is Orion there for? Oh, there it is. The cheese siege curse. I really have to reduce that the chance. Ah, no, don't do anything else, it's fine. Brand is relatively healthy. What does that do? New objectives. And I have to apologize again, the game decided to crash again on me. Something is going on and I will have to take a look into what that actually is. Anyhow, we are back, and I hope that's not going to happen again, at least not before this round is done. I'm very happy that I can just restart from basically where we stopped, instead of losing a game, for example, like in PvP instantly. So, okay, I'll stay over here. Uh, first I want to get Arno and his pancake to work with the plate bearer. He still gets infected by the stench of Nurgle. I think I'm just running inside there now with Mr. Muffin and collect stuff. You need to stay here, do nothing, please. A new round has started. That's fine. How, how often does it do damage? One round only. That's okay. Mr. Muffin will be able to deal with that. Now, for my fun part. Really, he was an ambush. Well, pound stick. We are still missing? 97, I believe that a 91. Miss Pancake, what's going on with you today? We could have used these hundreds of damage that he's normally doing there. There we go, finally, the enemy is missing. This plate bearer takes quite some damage, and from the looks, from, I think that the altar is right around there, around the corner. And now everybody is coming in to support. Oh, we are just supposed to jump down, there we go. Surprisingly, not taking damage. I don't really have to say surprising because I expect everything bad to happen now. Maybe Merga will finish him off. That would mean though she has to hit with every single hit. This guy has the 14% resist chance as well, and we've seen with the one plague error that we fought his first. He resisted three or four times. But not this one. And get a little bit closer to everything. Over here you can go into dodging. You are going to stay a little bit behind this pancake. Supporting her damage output as always. The other ones don't need that. But I'm going to delay now. I want to see if the plague bearers are coming so close that we can cast chains of pairs on them. But this one does not move, basically. He collected this incredible amount of gold that the Manticore was hiding in there. Do we have another wood plank? Yes, we do. And as said before, Objectives since we update. have it, we should also use it. And there was one very close by, we can avoid a little bit of damage with it. So, it's okay. I'm not sure how many enemies are there actually around. It should be three or four, I 
So play Paris. This one decides to move. They don't take damage by the asset. Charging in on Radley. He is not very happy this round. There we go. He did something good from his side. Managing to dodge, I like that. And now the damage comes in. Oh, even the critical damage. If he's getting knocked out, he will be dead or something. He gets so many open wounds and everything. What does he get from this guy? Do it anyhow. Fail anyhow. I, I have to admit, this round I'm very disappointed by him. He needs to get the mastering of the spell casting for reducing teach curse and everything. That's just a disaster what's happening with him at the moment. Hmm. Also that one happens. Doesn't affect us this round at the moment. Brent? Yeah. Oh, Brent can get the ones. This one is safe. Objectives updated. Four more to go. I see one, I see two, I see three, and four. Something has to be placed over here. What is it? Wood plank? What has to be placed here as well? Wood plank. That one. Okay. Got it. Don't attack him. Carry over here. This pancake will deal with these guys now in combination with Merga. For Okyon, that means we can walk around as well. Checking for what else we need to do. Oh, you stay over here. You are going to collect that piece of redstone there in a bit. Meanwhile, Take the gold. We've invested a lot of gold, so we need that. Try to dodge an attack of a plague bearer that will be coming in next round. And just defending this house, this very important outpost. A new round. So, Miss Pancake's started. turn. Next plague bearer is waiting for us. Maybe hitting the sign. There we go. Maximizing our damage output. And this one also doesn't have any counter attack, which is very good for us. So, also, Miss Pancake does not have unlimited health. I'm a little bit disappointed by the amount of crits that we are having. Mentioning that? <laughs> Showing that. Great, great attack. So there was another plague bearer over there, getting ready for him. Merga. No. Okay, I'm not commenting that one. Getting the damage from the acid tool, but we can already start causing damage on the last plague bearer. Or is there two more? I'm not sure. I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't spotted the altar now. To me, it still looks like it's over there. Oh, we failed the cast! It worked so good. Can I stay over here in safety? Can we see this pancake? We can. We need to keep in mind, Brand and um, I should have delayed and used the order on whomever he's going to attack. Um, oh, okay, yeah, that's an interesting choice. Um, but well, we should keep in mind that Brand and Merga have these tokens that we need. At least one counter attack was successful. I'm fine with them attacking someone, I would have wished it would be Miss Pancake though. 
And, um, yeah, what are you doing? There was another wooden plank. Over there, behind Redley. And now I'm taking all the traps that I have been avoiding so successfully. So now. Seems like there are two plague bearers left. <laughs> Even critical damage on that. You're not going to do anything and you just stay there. It's, that's getting annoying. Well, now let's have a look. Actually, I want to have a look around and find, find this altar. Here I should place a wood plank because I have to pass by here with various of my guys. Well, better that trip than getting any kind of poisoning or so. And yeah, we have one plank left, so that is going to be used over here. And then we are going to put everything next to the stench. Or next to the altar. Or then not the stench. Okay, on. Yeah. Don't get hit, then you don't take that kind of damage. Well, almost su successful. And dodging. That means for our guys. Well, where was this last fella? There in the northwest. That means for our guys like Mr. Muffin that he has to run inside Objectives here and collect updated. it. Objectives updated. Taking only very little damage, so that should be fine at the end. Let's just move it out. Oh, there's one more. Need three more. Hmm. I always lose track of where I have to go here. Yeah, you have to stay over there. Next round. A new round has yes. started. Yes, and Miss Pancake will finish this guy off quickly. Looks good. Looks better. Looks just like I wanted it to be. Perfect. Now get over here where the last one is and just stay in a way that he can't get through here. Well, he will always get just through there if he wants. There, got get behind him. Left behind him, behind his pancake, and start casting. That worked out pretty well. Now yeah, I got Kano and Miss Pancake. I think if I would now have even slid around, that would be a quarter that would take out everything. The quartet, I think it's in English. In German, for sure, it's a quartet. And again, a failed casting. Really, Merga, you're supposed to be the best of best here. This time I'll keep in mind that I have to delay. Yeah. Well, there's the plank that I need. No, which I need to get to the altar. Also, in the next round. Is he moving? Is he staying? He's coming in. But for whom? Well, even if he probably would have chosen for someone else, Mr. Muffin decides that it's him he wants to attack. I don't care about that. And I don't mind that much about that either, because the attack is not that strong. Just getting a little bit of nuisance. So, Kanoa, 
do something for the money that I will pay you eventually. I don't mind that he has to get through here. You are not charging in there, I can promise you that. You don't need to change the chaos on him either. Just want that little bit of extra damage that Mr. Muffin can do over there. Unfortunately, can't do introspection, but it doesn't matter. Our oh, little friend is ready next round to knock him out, anyhow. Maybe even Brad. Ah, there's the test. Still, might be sufficient. We just need an ice crit. Well, or oh, miss. It's almost the same. Argon did a good job with just surviving, basically. And we we'll do a very good job by running inside the S pool. And Objectives updated. Two more. One we have seen, or one I actually remember. Let's put it that way. There it is. It's there. In this direction. Just the last one I will have to take a quick look for. Probably it's behind these cards. Yeah, there you can see it. Now it's enough. So, these guys are done. Only seven health left. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. I think actually that we killed all enemies. So, the remaining thing still is just running around placing everything where it belongs. On this pancake that oh but enemy reinforcements have arrived so stretch that last remark uh, where are they though oh yeah this pancake delay there are at least two more enemies coming in now I got delay as well we need Alva to move to place this stuff delay And place the planks. There we go. Now my theory we can walk in here. Complete. There we go. New objectives. That's the Griffin brand. And we have another chest. Probably a little bit of gold. Oh not a little bit of gold. Oh that's a lot. Take whatever we get. Keep the gold. These clusters, I want to take all of them with me. I don't care about that warp effect. Get out. Get away. This pancake delay again. We want to see where the enemies are coming from. So, Merga, now we are going to take a look. What do we have to do after we place the Griffin Brand? Objective completed. New objectives added. Really? We need to go where he is standing. Are you kidding me? <sighs> That's annoying. That's really annoying to me. Question is, are these enemies actually coming in or are they just going to stay somewhere on the outside? I think they are not really coming in. Next round, I should be able to finalize all targets, all objectives. Oh, there. Oh, no, of course. No, no, he's coming. Won't help him much. Um, where was it? There he is. I'm welcoming him with our Chains of Chaos, which we are not doing, but trying again. And sometimes it just seems like Nurgle is just against us. Mm 
Like if he's just been, <laughs> you, you want to roll the dice? No, that's not what you get. You get the worst outcome possible. Uh, since the enemy is coming from probably somewhere behind us, get away from there. Join the team and do nothing. Though we're getting closer to here, can we return? Because he still has to place the last tokens that he has. I assume that I have to place them on now, one after another, just going in a circle. Mr. Muffin is going to take the last damage that we need in order to take the last redstone. Even though he's getting pretty low. Maybe even too low. Too low. He can't collect it. Well, Mr. Muffin is going to stay here. So Ogion will collect the last close of Wordstone. A new round has started. Why are you taking damage? From the acid pool still. I could charge in. It will counter attack. I will delay for now. Okay. Mm. Delay for now. Or will I charge in? This pack is getting a little bit too low in my opinion. Let's get in there. Surprise! Huh. When we get the order out, um, actually it might be that we knock him out for sure, I will use as well the casting of Merga, so we don't get any more attacks from this side. Nah, do I use the casting of Merga? She has to delay. How far is the range? Can she get from here? Nah, that's too much asked for. And she has a lot of movement points, so I think I will be fine if I move towards him a little. Now oh, I think I lost track of where I have to go. Kill him. Now, of course, I'm delaying and waiting for Alva to just move aside. And she's going to make her run. Really? You're failing now? <clears throat> Maybe she has one more try. And now he's resisting. <laughs> so it's again going to rely on Miss Bente. Hitting the ordering attack by Karno. Easy though. No? no problem at all. No reason to get upset at all about Merga. And now just get a little bit more inside of this circle. Because there's another plague bearer coming in from somewhere. Oh, the world you are such a place. So, this one is done. He is moved aside. Offer the token. And we have to offer one. Actually, I can offer three, I think, around here. We have an. Mm -hmm. No? We have Diva from that. Less poison resistance and so on, doesn't matter to her. Objectives updated. One more token. Objectives updated. Uh, where are the other ones? Actually, beneath Brand now. And it looks like they only need to get three more inside. Delay. Ah, I hope she's moving the after Brand does. Where is he coming from now? It's quite far. Oh, that was actually very much too close to Ingebert. And turn, Brand is moving before Merga does, that's exactly what we need. One token. Updated. No, 
the one that can move. It's a little bit annoying that it not just can throw in all of them at the same time. If there's now another huge enemy coming or it's being summoned afterwards, I'm going to cry. So, Wordstone. I want clusters first. So, then I have to do like this. In because this words on is worth more than that little bit of gold. And you're going to move away, so after Merga placing the remaining items, she can collect as well of you, and so on and so on. Well, we should be fine. Next round, Merga has to collect the sword completion grants. New objectives added. Everybody can collect it actually, but she is going to be the one for that. Can Onga make it to the point? Objective completed. Can. Objective completed. I would assume collecting Griffin Grant is the last thing to do, so I think we are fine. Maybe Mr. Muffin isn't. That's uh, getting close. Oh, that's a shame. Objectives I hope updated. he's fine. He's one of my finest warriors. A new round has started. A lot of damage taken by these enemies. Um, collecting first words though. So I would assume that this is the end. Now it's only shards left. What space available? No, where is it? That was the plague objective ritual. Completed. Now you need get written, written brand out of it. Objective completed. And not victorious. What else? There are more cross of wordstones? Oh yeah. Stupid me! Ogion had two of uh not Ogion. Mr. Muffin had two on him. Objective so, complete. that was it. Our guys are cheering already in the background. Oh. It's a shame. It's really a shame that Mr. Muffin got knocked out at the end. I have to see. I really hope that he survived. There's no increase as well. You are truly favored by the Shadow Lord. Only his valuable and honored servants could have prevailed against such savage foes. It is arrogance to exult in your accomplishments, but it is foolishness not to acknowledge them. Your exploits have drawn the notice of every magister among the cults of the possessed. That regard offers both the glory of respect and the danger of envy. The manticore has been subdued, but I fear that I underestimated its strength. Perhaps the wordstone it tried to consume has made it resistant to my enchantments. Whatever the cause, the collar is not enough to break its will. The beast remains defiant. It is a taxing effort to impose even the most basic commands upon it. I shall need to examine it further and make a more concerted effort to tame it. Make no mistake, the manticore will serve me. The word stones the manticore ate will require further study. Their peculiar properties may prove beneficial if harnessed in the right way. Perhaps something in the tomes you retrieved from the curator will resolve their riddle. For now, return to your pursuit of Wordstone for the pit. It will take me some time to prepare the final rite and transform Griffinbrand into a weapon worthy of serving the Shadow Lord. If he favors our progress in this endeavor, perhaps his hand will stretch forth and bestow upon you one of his dark gifts. Always remember that to serve the Shadow Lord is reward in itself. Do not ask for recognition, but always be ready to accept such gifts as he sees fit to bestow. Well, interesting remark, the last one. To serve the Shadow Lord is a reward in itself. I don't know if I agree. I want something that I can really touch. Or a nice mutation. Anyhow. Light wound that was expected with all his injuries he caused basically on himself. 
a twitch, his agility is removed, uh, reduced by one. Ah, that's a shame. He was so fine the whole time. And you know, the agility is not the worst. Of course, his dodging goes a little bit down, but I can live with that. Candyman is back, full health. That's what I was looking for. Nothing here, nothing there, only experience points. And yeah, well, the stuff that we collected was not that much. I collected a lot of... Why did I collected a lot of redstone and I didn't get anything from it? That was basically stupid and useless for us now. And it annoys me even more than the Twitch that Mr. Muffin has. Anyhow, we managed this round, actually not that unsuccessful. I'm very sorry for these cuts that I had to make for this crashing of the game. I don't know what it is, I have to look into it. But that's not of the concern for you guys. I will try and I will upload next videos as well. And we'll continue going to work for Merka and finalize Grip Brand for the Shadow Lord. And maybe right the Manticore. Who knows what will happen. See you now. Uh, see you next time. And bye for now.